Darren again with Well Waterboard Products. This is part two of a well pump insulation uh, water block pump system. Here we have a four inch windmill cylinder. Below this we have a, a 20 foot extension coming off the bottom of the cylinder. We've got um, a, a little safety attachment for the rope and this is where we hook it at. Here's the drop pipe and sucker rod used for the water buck pump system. The same drop pipe and sucker rod used for large diameter windmills. This type of pump system is needed for the mechanical advantage of the water buck pump. This is 110 feet of 2 inch galvanized pipe and 110 feet of 3 quarter fiberglass sucker rod with a total weight, including the cylinder, around 500 pounds. Strong manual safe equipment is needed if you're going to do this yourself without a boom truck. Before I lower the cylinder, I want to show you what I have underneath here. I've got a um, what they call a torque arrestor. The reason for this, the reason for this torque arrestor is to keep the cylinder centralized and away from the wall. So I'm putting one below the cylinder and right above the cylinder. I'm going to lower the cylinder down inside the well casing. And when I get close to the well head, I'll put my little tool. Back underneath it. And I disconnect my upper tool. And as you will see, the upper part of the, the sucker rod attaches to. This is my sinker bar for the 4 inch um, cylinder. These are needed for such a large cylinder. And this is where my sucker rod attaches to. We're basically repeating the same process, except we're just doing the opposite of what we did when we removed the pump. This swivel makes it really nice. They're expensive. but they're handy. I'll put my hand into the pipe to keep the sucker rod sliding out. Take it. Bring it up one more. Real easy to put the sucker rod together. I put electrical tape around the threads. Oops, it slows down the rust.
Let's repeat the same process. Once you're going down, you're committed. You don't want to let go. Coming up's fine because I got a ratchet. That's where it's most important. When I say you're committed, you can stop at any point and it'll stay there. But you don't want to let it slip. This is the 11th piece of pipe. I um, installed a quarter inch gate valve below the frost line so I can drain it from the surface. What I'll do is I'll slide this over it. This will run up through the, through the well head and I'll run my valve stem down to it so I can open and close the valve when needed to drain it. All right, we got a last piece of drop pipe and sucker rod installed. Now I need to cut the stub um, for my stuffing box. Um, I've got my stuffing box stainless steel rod screwed into the top of a sucker rod. I've got it hanging from the shackle. So I need to get an accurate measurement in between uh, the the coupling and the and the T. So and I've got uh, the rest of my um, assembly on top of the stuffing box. So I'll pull this up until it bottoms out, hits right there. Then I will measure, then I measure from um, in between the coupling and the T and I have 30 inches. I will add two inches to that. One inch of it is for a half, average, a half inch of it to go up inside the, uh, the T and the other half inch to go inside the coupling. I'll explain the other inch later. All right, we got the uh, stub for the stuffing box, the uh, well seal, and the sleeve for the valve stem. Now I'm going to lower this down. Alright, we're down to the last part of the water buck pump installation. I have the brass stuffing box screwed into the T. 
one of the reasons why I wanted to add an inch to the stub was so I could raise the uh, plunger one inch off the, the bottom of the cylinder. And so how I do that is I got a three inch compression spring, slide it over the top, and then once this is pulled up and you got the fitting on it, it'll stay one inch above the bottom of the cylinder. And so how I set it is I'll put my connector on pull up on the rod and as you see I already have it primed then I'll take a piece of rubber a pair of vice grips clamp her tight so she won't drop Release the pressure. I screw the adapter. Tighten the adapter. Raise back up on it a little bit. There we have the pump system for the water buck pump. Stay tuned because I'm going for 15 plus.